let's look at this example how to show a limit doesn't exist. Um, we first do a little bit analysis and if we look at this um, sequence over here we have this Sn, this sequence, is equal to 1 plus negative 1 to the nth. If we write it down, then we have S1 is equal to 0, S2 is equal to 2, and S3 is equal to 0, and keep going. And we know it doesn't have a limit. So how can we do that? So we still need to estimate this Sn minus L over here. So what we have over here is just a uh, um, 1 plus negative 1 to the n minus L. But L we don't know. We have to show this absolute value cannot be small for any L when n is large. So how do we do that? So we actually see that this is going to be simply, we have two cases. If n is odd, then we have a negative L if n is odd. right? And if we're going to have 2 minus L if N is even. And then we know uh, we cannot possibly make both numbers small. So we can say the following thing. If this absolute value L is going to be less than or equal to 1 half, then this is true. Then 2 minus L is going to be greater than 1 half. Right? And if absolute value of L is greater than 1 half, then of course um, Sn minus L is going to be greater than or equal to 1 half. So what it means is that regardless of the value you have for this L, this absolute value cannot be less than or equal to 1 half for all N when N is large. So that's going to be our analysis and then we're going to write it down. Okay. So let's try to write down the proof. The proof. Okay. Let L be any number um, in R, okay. and we consider and we consider we look at S n minus L is going to be equal to. We have two situations. That's going to be um, L over here if n is odd number, and it's going to be two minus L if n is even. Okay. Okay. Now that's the point. Now if so we write down over here if if L is greater than um if L is if L is less than or equal to one half um for epsilon not is equal to one half, we have we have um, S n minus L is equal to two minus L, and this is going to be greater than one half for all even n. So we always find an n that a subsequence of S n so that this is going to be greater than one half. So L is not a limit of S n. And if this L is greater than one half, then we have S n minus L. That's going to be greater than one half for all n odd. And that means, it means, so it means L cannot be the limit of Sn. Now since we covered all numbers, so our conclusion is so limit n going to infinity Sn does not exist.
does not exist. Okay, and that's the end of our proof.